Morning Church, we are at the start of a great week speaking about our vision as a church. We're in the middle of our campaign, Own It, and this week we really want to just speak about different elements of church that you can own. And today I want to speak about owning the vision, owning the vision of the house. Our vision as a church is to be a church so large that we transform our communities one person at a time. Our vision is not buildings, our vision is not programs, our vision is people. It, our vision is that we would have cities rebuilt, which means lives rebuilt, which means families rebuilt, which means godly values being rebuilt. It means a prosperous people in order that our city and our cities, our nation and Europe can prosper. When I think about this vision, I think about Nehemiah in the Bible. I want to read Nehemiah chapter 2, a few verses for you, just to give you a bit of a picture of the story of Nehemiah. Read the whole account in your own time. But in chapter 2, the king spoke to Nehemiah and he said, Why does your face look so sad when you are not ill? This can be nothing but sadness of heart. Nehemiah speaking, I was very much afraid, but I said to my king, May the king live forever. Why should my face not look sad when the city where my ancestors are buried lies in ruins? Its gates have been destroyed by fire. The king said to me, What is it that you want? Then I prayed to the God of heaven and I answered the king, if it pleases the king and if your servant has found favour in his sight, let him send me, send me to the city in Judah where my ancestors are buried so that I can rebuild it. Nehemiah had a passion, had a heart, had a plan to rebuild his city. This is the vision of Audacious Church. Whichever city we are in, we want to help to rebuild the walls. Ownership of the vision is going to require you, number one, like Nehemiah had, to have a soft heart. A soft heart. In Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 3 there, we saw that Nehemiah had a sadness of heart. His face looked sad. He, he had compassion and he wept for his city. If we're going to rebuild anything, then we must have a compassion for that thing. If we're going to rebuild homes and rebuild families and rebuild godly values and rebuild our cities, then we must have a soft heart towards these things. I wonder what the theme of your heart is. David said, my heart is stirred by a noble theme. And in our church, it's full of thousands of people with a noble theme in their heart. And our heart and plan as a team is to equip the church to make a difference, to rebuild their walls so that together as a church, in every city, we can rebuild our cities we can rebuild our nation and we can say, let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Second thing we're going to need, soft heart. Secondly, steadfast spirit. Nehemiah said, if it pleases the king, let him send me. See, you can only say send me if you've got a resolute and strong spirit. A spirit that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I want to encourage you. Are you going to God as you are now and saying, God, would you strengthen my spirit? I believe even as we come around the word together this morning and as we pray together, that God can strengthen our hearts. He can give us a resolve that we not only see vision, but we say, Lord, if it pleases you, then would you, like you sent Nehemiah, would you send me. A sending attitude is an attitude that says, let's do this. Let's own it. Third thing you're going to need is a strong hand. Strong hand. See, our vision as a church is definitely not 
a sign on a wall. It's not a plaque. It's not a brochure. Our vision is etched on our hearts. But even more than that, we want to not just speak about vision, pray about vision, but we want our vision to come to pass. We believe when God speaks, he's able to materialize. And God is partnering with us to see his kingdom established here on earth. And so if we're going to see God's vision for every city, then we've got to have a strong hand that says we're going to do it. In Nehemiah chapter 2 and verse 17 and 18, Nehemiah said to God's people, let us rise, let us build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. Ephesians tells us God has prepared good works for each one of us. And so may we be a church with soft hearts of compassion, steadfast spirits of resolve and strong hands of action. William Booth said, I'm not waiting for a move of God. I am a move of God. This is an audacious spirit. The audacious vision to be a church that numerically so large that we transform our communities one person at a, at a time. It's going to take soft hearts of compassion, steadfast spirits that says we can do this, send me, and strong hands of action. Our church needs every single one of us to take our place at the wall, make our contribution and believe God for amazing things through us. Our vision offering in a few days time, every single one of us can pray and we can plan to be part of what God wants to do. Let's pray together for your day today. God, we just pray a blessing over every person watching our devotion this morning. We pray that your word would speak clearly to us. Holy Spirit, encourage us, nudge us in the right direction today. We pray we would be sensitive to your spirit. We pray you'd empower us, equip us to do great works today. Give us a heart of compassion, a spirit of resolve, and a hand of strong action to make a contribution even today. We believe you for amazing things. In Jesus name and everybody said amen amen we love you can't wait to see you on Sunday God bless